Hi guys, I just have to say something to you. Have you guys heard about competitive suffering? Like what? I had to chuckle just now to God because I'm like, people will literally, literally envy you because of your testimony. They will envy your suffering. What the heck? How are you envying someone's suffering? It's like, you know what it is though? Listen, it's, let me tell you what God told me when I asked him this question. It's like the reason why they envy your suffering is because the bigger the battle, the bigger the blessing. The more the suffering, the more the prospering. You know, it's almost like God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. He gives you what you can handle. And many people, because they know that you endured a lot, it's almost like they envy your suffering, which doesn't make sense because most of y'all, your testimony, most I can't speak for everybody, but most of us, I would say most of us, our testimony is embarrassing, a little bit embarrassing, scary. Um, it's almost like we're not proud of our testimony. We're proud that it's a testimony. We're proud that it's a testimony, okay? Because we have to be proud of every testimony. Because a testimony is through God. It means that we it means that we made it. We fought through it, we made it. So we have to be proud of our testimonies, happy for our testimonies. But we're not happy about what we had to endure to get there. Like, we're not proud of what we had to endure to get there. Like, many of us are still healing from that. Many of us are still, we still cry tears because of what we go through. No matter how much we're healed, some of us are going to go through a lifetime of healing because of what we've endured. Some of us saw things that we can't forget, the human brain never forgets. And some of us saw things that we're never going to forget. Some of us heard things that we're never going to forget. You see what I'm saying? And I never understood how people can envy someone's suffering. How people can compare sufferings. Like, oh no, my suffering was worse. No, my suffering was worse. What? Does that even make any sense? Like competitive suffering that's what god said it's competitive suffering what it it doesn't make no sense but when god answered the question it, it, like he said it's because the bigger the battle means the bigger the the blessing the bigger the reward that's what it is that's what it really is so it's not it's not like they're mainly just envious of your suffering it's more like they're envious of the destination they're envious of the reward that God is going to give you. But at the same time, it's almost like they wish they endured that suffering instead of you because they want that reward. And it doesn't make sense. It's not going to make sense to us because us that go through the suffering, it's almost like, how could you even want to go, want to be in my shoes when I went through that? I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know... We have to understand that it's it's the, the destination that they're after. It's the destination that they're envying. But I just want to let you know that also this is this is why people usually try to stop you from putting out your testimony. This is why. Because sometimes when you hear a testimony that's similar to a lot of people, it's almost like, oh, I've heard this testimony before. Oh, I've heard this before a couple of times or, you know what I mean? But then there's just some testimonies that you hear and you're like, wow, you're like, God, like how this person survived through that? It's nothing but the grace of God. It's like some testimonies you hear, it's almost like a movie. It's almost like a, a story, a movie. It's almost like it's fiction and not facts. That's how deep the, the testimony is right but it's real you know and and that's i feel like that's what people really don't like and and this is why a lot of times they they try to shut you up and they don't want you to share your testimony because the type of testimony you have is going to draw attention people are going to be all ears with the type of testimony you have because the suffering was not light the suffering is not light the type of suffering some of y'all had to endure, mm -mm. it was it's literally unbearable, you know? So anyway, that's what I tell y'all, ask you guys if you've ever heard about that, but that's what God was saying. He said competitive suffering, and he said it's because of the destination, why they do that. It, it is sad. 
So I just want to say, whenever you hear someone's testimony, don't compare and don't make, don't try to compare it in that way. Don't ever do that. Okay. Um, your walk is your walk. Okay. And I also just want to say, if you have a testimony, when God, um, puts you in the forefront to speak up, don't let anyone make you feel afraid to speak up, speak up. Okay. Because I'm telling you, if you went through some serious suffering, you are going to change lives. You are going to help save lives. You're going to help people. You didn't just go through that for vain. You went through that for a reason. You see what I'm saying? So um, if you look at like David's story, look at Daniel's story, look at Joseph's story. Whenever we go through things, what do we do? We go back to these books and we go back and we read it. And it gives us that confirmation that God is still going to stick by us despite what we're going through. It gives us confirmation that we it, it's possible to win the battle and we already won. You see what I'm saying? That's why the book is there. That's why the Bible's there. And that's why we have these books to help us, to encourage us. So... It's the same concept with your testimony. You see what I'm saying? It's the same concept with your testimony. Okay? It's like you are living the word. You are walking the word. And God is walking with you. And you have a story now that you can help uplift other people with your story. And with the pain you've endured, you can use the wisdom that you've gained from that to change lives. And don't let anyone try to take that or steal that or try to block you from being a voice for God. For being a voice to show people that you are a walking miracle. Okay? And don't let those who are intimidated and in competitive suffering make you feel like you got to shut up because you, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how people can even want to compare sufferings. I don't get it. I don't get it. But I just want to say, keep your head up. Okay. Keep your head up and be strong and just focus on the mission and the walk that God has you on. Okay. I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.